Anyway, so now, <clears throat> Harut and Marut, sent by Allah, police be upon him, I mean IDF. And Harut and Marut, they teach people magic, and they are angels. But remember, before they teach you magic, they make you sign a disclaimer. What the disclaimer do? They teach you magic about how to cause separation between a man and his wife. Hey Allah, just a question. If your angel is the one who caused separation between a wife and the man, who caused separation between two gays? Hmm. There is something you did not tell us? Only anyway. But then the angels, after they teach you how to make separation between the wife and the husband by magic, they will tell you that you should not do it. It's a trial. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. I mean, when you join a, you know, when you join a, uh, like uh, any uh, school or anything, you have to sign a contract disclaimer, you know, like etc. So Allah, he made a disclaimer. We will teach you magic to separate the wife and the husband from each other by making them fight and hate each other. But disclaimer, any learn that which harm them and profit them not. Look, look at the decent Allah. So he opened a school to cause divorce and then he tell you after you graduate, <laughs> don't do it. What the heck is that? So why you taught them how to do it? Like, what? Guys, why you are laughing? Are you laughing at me or laughing at the Quran? If you are laughing at me, I have a warning for you. I know a person, he made fun of me. Second day, he woke up in the morning, he looked like me. Literally. He, you know, he got scared. He called me. He said, uh, uh, I am you. I said, you stupid. What are you talking about? He said, I swear by Allah, I am you. <laughs> I said, you are what? I am you. I made fun of you today. I became you. I said, that's even better. Two of me, better than one. The earth, it, this is the sign of the end of the time. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you know, forget about me, you know, like laughing at me or laughing at the Quran. It doesn't matter really. What is important is your health and to be laughing, you know. Anyway, you will wash dishes after five minutes because your wife, she will say, hey, it's Thanksgiving, you idiot. Come to the kitchen. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so Allah, he opened a school of Harry Potter to separate between the wife and the husband. Now we go to our friend story. You see, we forgot about even the original story, Basim, but we are done with it. We expose him. So this guy now, obviously, he don't understand that whatever happened between him and his wife, it was because of Harut and Marut and the school of magic of Allah. Anyone here can prove it wrong? Christian Prince, you cross the line. I ancestor from you. Bram, bam bang, do me a favor and close the door behind you. I unsubscribe as if I care. Abdul, listen carefully. I go live on air if I have one subscriber or if I have 160,000 or 200,000. You are a stupid fool. Just to let you know, when I came in YouTube, I have one subscriber. <laughs> Still, I go on YouTube. <laughs> And by the way, the WhatsApp subscriber was only me. I uh, make another account, I subscribe to myself, and then I talk, and I chat with myself. I ask myself questions, I answer them, you know, immediately. I'm very fast, you know, and I even I debate with myself. Like I say, like, you know, I will get you busted. So do you think you, potato, fried potato, you are telling me you cross the line, which line? Do you think when Muhammad, he went to his own son, wife, and the wife was alone, and he flirted with the married wife to his son, he crossed the line? Or you don't care? You must have a line since when? Is that the line of Berlif? The Jews, they break it. Hmm. So, yeah, just forget about him. I'm so glad that he... 
man, I, I, I felt like there is something in my shoulder. Thank you for unsubscribing, man. You were heavy. I'm not talking about me. This is Muhammad. Do you know that your prophet Muhammad, he been rode by a bunch of African one day and one night all day long? And they are tall African and they were naked. They rode your prophet. I can show you the hadith. You cross the line, you are talking about line. You know, most times you have sex with the children and you talk about cross the line. Rape children and you talk about cross the line. You burn people alive and you are talking about cross the line. Hmm. Say that to your wife. So he is being patient and he is telling us about what's going on. And inshallah, you'll get whatever you want. Just have patience. I waited one year, one year to find out the truth. I knew Osman married my wife. I knew it. I have such suspicious. But I couldn't say anything till I make sure that he's the one. One year. It took me one year. SubhanAllah. Uh, just a question. All what you need to do, you go in the front of the house of Uthman and see who is coming out and coming in. Why it took you one year? One year? Hmm. Like the previous videos, I showed a couple of things. That my wife is describing Osman by his age, his first wife age, and there's very private stuff too. I cannot show it on public too. Okay? It's very extremely weird things. That is getting weird. Very private things too. Like what? Are you serious? Are you talking about private things like this is how we do it? Or like, this is how we do it. But it's okay. I'm not going to mention it. No way. Thank and you. Thank you. You have four kids and you are Pakistani. Oof. So you will not mention it because you have four kids and he's Pakistani? Ah, you will mention it if he's from Bangladesh. But if from Pakistan, no. Oh, okay. Your wife is Pakistani. She's an... Pakistani marrying Pakistani, their child will be Pakistanis. Like me, if I'm an Arab, I'm an Arab, I marry an Arab, my child will be Arabanis. That's. But how come, you Muslims, that uh, Ishmael, his mother is Egyptian, his father is from Iraq, Aramaic, his son is an Arab? <coughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> I mean, he married Egyptian. Ishmael, he married an Egyptian. His mother is an Egyptian. His father is an Aramaic. His son is Muhammad. Yeah. Really? True story. In the late uh, 30s, you have no siblings from your mother as like as brothers. <coughs> okay. And why she's saying that her husband is has a master in hadith. Uh she maybe she's talking about Christian Prince. <laughs> oh boy. And why she's hiding the fact that she's married? Well, she's not uh, she's not hiding that she's married, but she's hiding who is she married to. If a woman is proud of who is she with, she will be proud of him. Not hide it. Are you saying she isn't proud of uh, being with Uthman? That's a lot of stress to hide her husband. Why you have to hide your husband? That's very normal. Any woman she is married to you too, she will hide you. I mean, look at you. You are dumb. You are like a mule bragging about a guy taking your wife. So everybody will laugh at you. Why you go online and talk about it? What about you? Shasha, shut up. So people will not laugh at you. And you look like a stupid idiot. Uh, what you get from this now? You will get the wife? He Muslim, just tell the guy, Christian Prince, he advise you. Just shut up, man. What, what is this for? You want to expose Uthman? 
You waited a year? A year? What about you wait two years? Ten years? There's something weird in there, right? <clears throat> Why she choose San Diego? She does oh boy. Why she choose San Diego? Aren't you in San Diego? She doesn't know how to work. That doesn't I mean she she doesn't work, she doesn't make enough money to live in California. Okay? And she's from North Carolina. And you know in North Carolina they don't make enough money to support to support living in California. So she couldn't rent in California because it's expensive. Right? So if she Ah so she moved. Mm. Uh -huh. Is renting at your mother's house as what you claimed? Can you show us the receipts? I know my wife, she doesn't she doesn't pay cash at all. She always use either her credit card or checks. Can you show us any receipt? Shame on you. You use the Jewish credit card? Visa and MasterCard? Hey Muslims, how many times I told you you need to be caught Israel? Free Palestine, you idiot. So you make a video about Gaza and then you use a credit card? Idiot. Of the renting. And why she traveled <coughs> from San Diego to North Carolina. Like when she, everything popped out. Right? Another thing. Why she chose your mother's house. United States is extremely big. She's choose San Diego and your mother's house. Subhanallah. I have rights on you. I have rights on you. And why your friends are threatening me? It's like, I know you. If you come to San Diego, we're going to take care of you. Or you're not welcomed in San Diego. Is that a real Muslim? Why are you sending those people on me? You're trying to scare me? I'm a Muslim. I fear nobody but God. You Muslim don't fear anybody? So why you don't call me? You Muslim fear nobody? So why all of you, you go and you seek asylum in Europe, claiming that you fear death in your country? Suddenly you fear nobody? You don't? Are you sure? That's true story. So why when the IDF, they come to you in Gaza, you go in the tunnel? Is that because you fear nobody? Hmm. We Muslim, we fear nobody. True story. That's why you ask the American to protect you in Saudi Arabia, in Kuwait, in Bahrain, in Qatar, you name it. Because you fear nobody. You are fearless, brother. You are fearless. And I wish I was wrong about you. I wish, wallahi. I wish I was wrong about you. Wish, wish. Ya Allah. Subhanallah. Again, Subhanallah. I mean, the guy screwed you up, man. You keep saying Subhanallah. So again, what is my wife doing in your mother's house? Oh, this is the same question. A oh, serious question. Okay. What about we ask, what is Hamas doing in your mother's house? This is a drama now. We will spend the whole day what my wife doing in your mother house. Eating falafel. Here we go. We will give you an answer.